block P is equal to 5 kg and block Q of mass m kg is suspended through the cord is in the equilibrium position as shown in figure. Determine the mass of the block Q. If you observe the given figure, so it is a system of connected flexible cables. You have to find the mass m only. Uh, it is not asked to calculate the tensile force in each and every stream. For that, uh, you have to consider, you have to observe the block M is having connection with which strings. So it is having connection with BC and CD. So that means uh, either you need to calculate BC or CD so to find the value of M. So which point you have to start with? You have to start with a free body diagram of point B or point C. If you consider free body diagram of point B or equilibrium of point B, so there are uh, two unknowns. But when you consider equilibrium of point C, so there are three unknowns. It is better to start with less unknowns. For that reason, I will consider equilibrium of point B. Before going to consider equilibrium of point B, so this angle is not given. So you have to calculate this. Let us consider this angle is alpha. So if it is alpha from the triangle tan alpha equal to opposite side by adjacent side tan alpha equal to 4 by 3 from that alpha equal to tan inverse 4 by 3 you will get alpha as 53.13 degrees. So now I will consider equilibrium of point B. So I will draw here equilibrium of point B. So first I am going to consider the point B. This is point B. From that, a mass of 5 kg is acting vertically downwards. So mass won't act vertically downwards. So this is weight. Okay. So P is given as 5 kg. First convert that one into newtons. So P is uh, 5 kg. When you want to convert that one into newtons. So 5 into 9.81. So that will be 49.05 newtons. Similarly, Q is given as mkz. So that is equal to m into 9.81. So 9.81 m newtons. So first here for equilibrium of point B. So weight of uh, P 49.05 newtons acts vertically downwards. And along the string there will be tensile force right. So along BC there will be tensile force. I will consider that one as SBC along the string BC. And along the stream AB, so there will be one more tensile force that is SAB. It is 30 degrees given and we have calculated this value which is 53.13. So three forces are there. I can apply Lamis theorem. So before applying Lamis theorem, let's find the complete angles. So this is 30, 90. So complete angle will be 120 degrees and uh, this is 53.13 this is 30 so then the remaining angle is 180 minus 53.13 plus 30 so which is nothing but 96.87 this is 53.13 this is 90 so complete angle will be 143.13 so when I consider Lamis theorem SAB divided by close SAB so the remaining two forces are these two the angle between those two is 120 SAB divided by sin 120 is equal to SBC divided by close SBC the remaining uh, the angle between other two forces is sin 143.13 is equal to 49.05 divided by close 49.05 angle between other two forces is sin 96.87 Okay, here the block uh, the block Q is having connection with BC, so no need to find AB. So I can neglect AB. So I am going to find BC a tensile force only. For that reason, I will consider this relation. From this relation, SBC is equal to 49.05. Take this one to on the right hand side. Sine 143.13 divided by sine 96.87. So if you calculate, uh, you will get 29.64 Newtons. 
so this is the value of SBC. Now I will consider equilibrium of point C. So first I am going to represent that point. Weight acts vertically downwards. Okay. So weight is nothing but 9.81 M. You know that. And along the CD there will be tensile force. This is SCD. And making an inclination of 70 degrees with horizontal. And next along BC. So there will be on tensile force. SBC. From the figure you can observe. It is making an inclination of 30 degrees with horizontal. So here also uh, three forces. You can apply Lamis theorem. So in order to apply Lamis theorem, first calculate the angles. So this is 70. So this is 90. So complete angle is 160 degrees. This is 30. So then this angle is going to be 60 degrees. So this is 70. So then this is going to be 20. 20 plus 90 plus 30. So then this is going to be 140 degrees. So if you apply Lamis theorem, is uh, BC divided by close SBC, then the remaining two forces are SCD and 9.81. The angle between those two is 160. SBC divided by sine 160 is equal to the another force is SCD. SCD divided by close SCD. So then the remaining two forces are SBC and 9.81. Angle between those two is 60. Sin 60 is equal to 9.81 M divided by close this one. The angle between the other two forces is 140. Sin 140. Just I want to find the value of M only. <coughs> For that reason, I will consider this relation only. So when I consider that relation, so taking uh, this term onto this side, so 9.81 M is equal to SBC into sine 140 divided by sine 160. From that M is equal to SBC value we calculated earlier, so which is nothing but 29.64 sin 140 divided by so this 9.81 will be in the denominator sin 160 so if you simplify this one you will get the value for m so it will be around 5.68 kz so this is the value of m so 5.68 kz hope you like this video if you like this video click on like button and don't forget to subscribe Thank you for watching.